So I, I go, oh, this apple is the thing that made me sick. And so I, I sent a little, sent a little, you know what I mean? A little pigeon. Yeah, because that's how we relay information nowadays. You, uh, a raven, one of those, some sort of avian creature I sent her way to deliver the message that like, hey, look, an apple a day does not keep the doctor away because I might have to see him sooner than I wanted to because this apple is not treating me fairly. And, uh, you know, when you say something and they just start instantly laughing at you, like do your face, like they're, they're not, they don't try to hide it. They don't, they're just blatantly because what you've said is so just out of this world, not clever at all, but you said it with such conviction. You're like an apple a day. That's what I ate. And that's what I got sick of. And instantly, then she just the backhand just comes, not a real backhand, but a, a, you know, an ethereal backhand. You can still feel the hurt. Came in a swing and, and she goes, are you sure it wasn't the expired cantaloupe? Because remember when I said that cantaloupe was sour? Uh, it was expired and not just expired, not just like, oh, you know, you look at it, check the date and there's the sell by and the expired and you never know which one is which. And sometimes you can risk it for a day. But this time, this stuff was 10 days expired. No wonder the cantaloupe had just turned sour. And I mean, just through and through like it's sour all the way. Yeah, that's what you get for uh, trusting the label. I don't even trust the label. I was hungry and I tried to eat some fruit. I tried to do the smart thing and the healthy thing tried to kill me. So I'm going back to sugar. I put on the grocery list donuts just because I'm like, I'm playing it on the other side.